The slope of the under deck ceiling is obviously critical because the water needs to drain in the panels out to the gutter. But uh, in most cases, an excessive amount of slope can be avoided. And what, what I like to do to determine my slope is to let the objects in, in the placement of my under deck ceiling determine where the gutter goes and therefore the G channel goes. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate to you now what I mean about the slope discussion. I'm going, to, I'm going to temporarily install this pan, and I'm going to use that as my guide to determine the height of my gutter and my G channel. As you can see, I've temporarily installed a carrier. And I, the reason I say temporarily is because that carrier is going to come back down once I've determined my G channel and gutter locations, and it's going to get moved over into its proper position. So what I'm going to do, with, with one carrier up, and it's going to be the carrier on the high side, I'm going to put a pan into it. I'm going to put a little piece of G-channel on the high side. And on the low side, over here on the beam, I've got a little piece of gutter that I'm going to use as my guide. And now I'm going to determine the location of my gutter here. Because I'd like to have my G channel all the way up to the bottom of that utility trim, I'm going to, I'm going to keep raising this gutter until I take all the bend out of the panel, and that's going to be where the gutter gets installed. So I raise that up until it's a nice straight line. I go ahead and mark the wall, and that's the high side of my gutter.